It's been 17 years since Congress signed a bill giving the president authority to use military force in any country that played a role in the September 11th attacks. However, since 2001, presidents have been using this bill to deploy troops and use force in countries that aren't connected to combating terrorism, leaving some to question why the 2001 bill isn't being properly enforced. Here's RT correspondent Ashley Banks with more. After the 9-11 attacks, Congress authorized the use of military force in order to prevent another terrorist attack from taking place on American soil again. The bill known as AUMF was passed on September 14, 2001, three days after Al-Qaeda carried out terrorist attacks here in the U.S. It gave the commander-in-chief license to deploy U.S. military personnel anywhere in the world in the name of eliminating terrorism. The bill was passed with only one vote against it, that of Democratic California Representative Barbara Lee. She believed it would start an open-ended war without an exit strategy or a focused target. The bill authorizes the president to, quote, use all necessary and appropriate force against those nations he determines aided the terrorist attacks that occurred on September 11, 2001 or harbored such organizations or persons in order to prevent any future acts of international terrorism against the U.S. Many members of Congress believe the bill would only focus on al-Qaeda, the Taliban, nations and groups directly connected to the 9-11 attack. However, in the past 17 years, the U.S. has used this bill to justify wars, bombings, detentions and troop deployments in more than 20 different countries some of which have nothing to do with al-Qaeda or September 11th. I spoke to Robert Neiman, policy director of Just Foreign Policy, and I asked him to discuss how the U.S.'s involvement in the war in Yemen is a violation of the AUMF. This war that has nothing to do with protecting Americans. In fact, the U.S. and Saudi Arabia are on the same side of the war as al-Qaeda, helping al-Qaeda co-belligerence with al-Qaeda. So you see, in this context, this whole question of the 2001 AUMF is a completely irrelevant distraction. No restrictions are being enforced at all. AUMF, no AUMF, expansive, not expansive, it just doesn't matter. At first, the AUMF was used to deploy troops to Afghanistan to fight the war on terror. However, a year later, it was used to deploy troops to the Philippines, Georgia, Yemen, Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, and more recently, Chad and Nigeria, with troops having been deployed in Kenya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, and Somalia. Since 2001, President George W. Bush used the bill to deploy troops or use force in 12 different countries. Barack Obama did the same for six countries during his second term. And so far, Donald Trump has invoked this bill on three different nations. I asked Nyman, is it dangerous that this bill gives the president so much power? The people who carried out the attacks directly died in the crash. Osama bin Laden is dead. Um, the U.S. is now fighting uh, people all over the world that, uh, you know, weren't even, were in swaddling clothes when the 9-11 uh, attacks happened and the people fighting uh, on the U.S. side, we're in swaddling clothes. So that is bad and it is dangerous, but it's important to understand that this whole problem of the, the 2001 AUMF is contained inside an even worse problem, the, which is the un unwillingness so far of members of Congress to enforce any limits. Nyman says the American people and the media should hold Congress accountable for its neglect to uphold the bill. And Washington, Ashley Banks, RT. Hey, YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe to never stop questioning more.